So this is a cooker pair that we have. These are the windfalls, the remaining windfall falls. It's called a Cadillac. I always remember it because of the car, Cadillac. But it's a Cadillac cooking pair and it's delicious. You bake it in the oven with brandy and sugar and it's absolutely scrummy. But it's a huge tree here in the middle of the garden. And I have a white rose. You can kind of see the, the uh, rose up there. Uh, sorry, a yellow rose that I trained to go up the tree that is gorgeous in the summer months. So this is, see the paddock is up there. And then here's uh, some of the other apple trees. And then these are my raised bed garden, kind of resting for the winter months. I don't have a greenhouse. So the only thing that's growing at the moment is my purple sprouting broccoli, which is doing really, really well, which I love. I love purple sprouting broccoli in um, dipped in hummus, raw. I pick it fresh and eat it raw. It is absolutely delicious. So that's my bed of purple sprouting broccoli. There's my strawberries. Here's gooseberries. And here are some black currants. And then the raspberry cane has gone wild. So hopefully I'll have some raspberries this year. And so these are my raised beds, made some more. I had, these were all full of tomatoes, zucchinis, uh, peas, beans, um, all kinds of things. So this is, was my vegetable patch of this um, last summer and I will be growing more stuff next summer. So that's the vegetable garden that is now within the bounds of this old walled garden. So when I was growing up, it was full of all kinds of fruits and vegetables that I remember helping my grandfather pick, harvest, plant, weed, etc. Over there, there were greenhouses. There was a peach tree over there. And my grandfather used to count the peach tree, peaches, to know that we, none of us stole them because they were very, very expensive, as in good money to sell. And one day I hope to return the, some of those to greenhouses. But uh, it's a bit much for one person to do all that. So this is... Um, uh, so a lot of the other parts of the garden, I plant flowers in and flowers that are sort of weed suppressors, like these Japanese anemones and things like that. So that's a bit of the garden, the walled garden.